everyone, I'm Carrie from the Western Ranch Library. I hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to do a fun and pretty simple, pretty inexpensive craft. It is DIY photo transfer to canvas. You can also do it on wood, but today we're going to stick to the canvas method. Uh, you'll need a few materials. You, I'm using uh, dollar store canvases. They have a wide variety there. They have eight by 10, they have four by six, and they have five by sevens and in packs. So um, you can experiment and not worry about spending too much money. These are great if you'd like to frame them. And it makes a really unique and personal um, piece of like art and you can gift it as well if you'd like. It just takes some practice because it is something you do need to be patient with, which I don't always have a lot of patience. Uh, so you will need to be patient as you rub and um, I'm using from the hobby store a uh, photo medium. It is a uh, specifically to transfer photos. You can use regular Mod Podge, but I did find it to be a little bit of a pain and more work than just buying this method. Um, if you do use it, make sure you look up online. There are more instructions to using it. And um, that's about it. Let's go ahead and grab your materials and then we'll get started. Okay, now that you have everything, you want to make sure that you have printed out your image and that you have switched it so it's a mirror image. So this is the original image I'm going to use or that I'm using. And this is what it looks like mirrored. You can do it in any software program that you might have, Word, Publisher, uh, Canva is the popular one that we use, canva.com. Um, there is some free access to that. Or um, if you have Photoshop, that's another great one. So you just wanna make sure it's mirrored so that way it looks right. Even if you wanna do a photo, you want to make sure, sometimes it doesn't matter. This is my handsome son and my granddaughter, oldest granddaughter, Avery, before he went to boot camp. Um, so either way. Now I found, I found through trial and error, some websites will say to put the Mod Podge directly on the paper. And you want to try to make sure you use this. I tried regular Mod Podge and it just, you have to do a lot of steps and it just doesn't come out as good. You want to, instead of putting it on the paper, you want to go ahead and put it on the canvas. Do not use a ton of Mod Podge because it really makes it difficult to kind of get through the layer of glue when you're trying to sponge it off at the end but you don't want to use too little because then it won't transfer. So you just want to kind of eye it. Like I said, the more you do it, the better it will come out. And you just want to make sure you have enough. Now I cut the photo uh, close to the words. You can always do it all the way to the edge if you want, or even have it come over. Just depends on if you're maybe framing it or if you want to go ahead and paint. Um, when you rub the, when you start to rub the Mod Podge off after it's dry, you will kind of see an edge on this, um, but it usually the line comes right off and then you can always paint around it, which looks really pretty. So you don't need a lot. So there you go, that's about it. And um, you want to lay your image on that. You wanna make sure there's no bubbles. If you use too much, it will leave bubbles. And I'll show you um, an example here. You can use a credit card, some sort of card. You have one of those uh, fancy, I can't think of what they're called. Why does my hair always fall out when I'm being crap? If it's not dog hair, it's definitely my hair. 
and then and then you want to the hardest part leave this alone now you can leave it there for four hours probably if you want um a lot of places recommend 24 hours you can always put something on top of it if you'd like but really if you do it this way you don't see any bumps or anything in it and as it dries it will um you know it here you just want to check it to make sure no air gets in there for bubbles and stuff let me show you the one that i did it was so atrocious the first one i did i put so much mod podge on my picture and then i i laid it on there and as you can see it just clumped up and it just looked ridiculous it's just too much so don't overuse it and you shouldn't have any problems so once it is, I started on this one already because I've made quite a few. Once it's dry, this one dried for about 24 hours. Make sure you use a sponge and you have to have a lot of patience. You can get a spray bottle and spray it, let the water kind of soak through a little bit. You can get a little cup of water and get your sponge in and kind of just let the water do a lot of the work for you. The less rubbing you do on the actual letters, the better. So as you can see, I got a little impatient and I did rub off some of the letters. Now the sides where the extra glue is and there's no word on, you can go ahead and scrub all that. So you might have to do this a couple of times. You basically just want to scrub, take the little pieces of Mod Podge off and get a paper towel for that too. And you can use your fingers and you just want to go ahead and take that off and you just want to keep going as you can see it is adhering to the canvas and when you're done you can paint the uh, outside or like i said frame it and it'll be beautiful so go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you the finished project product <laughs> Okay, hey, so after I scrubbed and made a nice mess of <laughs> all the Mod Podge off, um, most of it came off. I did get a little impatient and um, went ahead and I painted over it. And then I added some color to it. You can do whatever you want. You can leave it white and maybe just paint a little bit of this to make it darker. Um, whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. And if you do it, please do post it. Let me know. Let me know if you tried something that was a little easier. Um, and I would love to see it. And I would love to know your tricks and tips as well. And I want to thank you for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.